If you've followed my channel for a while, you know that I've been pretty critical of many solar companies that I think are predatory and dishonest. You've probably seen dozens of ads like this one promising too good to be true prices and amazing results. No one's holding these companies accountable for their outrageous claims. So when I was contacted by a company called EnergyPal to do a video on them, I was highly suspicious. I was afraid that they were one of those lead generators that sells leads to solar contractors that blow up your phone and bother you. If they were, then I would have told them to pound sand. But as I got to know their company, I started to see the value that they can bring to a homeowner that wants to invest in solar. EnergyPal is a Canadian company that was created to solve the solar shopping experience by simplifying it and giving more options. Think of it like Costco or Expedia. EnergyPal claims to be the largest solar originator in North America. I'm not 100% sure what they mean by that, but in the lending world, an originator arranges for loans and investments. And after talking with EnergyPal, that's definitely part of what they do. But like Costco, they offer a whole lot more than that. EnergyPal started in 2008, and their founders had prior solar lead generation and solar sales companies. But those models are lacking, and they saw that they wanted to bring more to homeowners. Since then, EnergyPal has received grants from the US government, and has partnered with some of the biggest names in the industry. Their business model is to be the advisor and trusted partner for the homeowner through the entire solar process. Here's the basic process, and then I'll explain a little bit further. First, the homeowner calls EnergyPal and is screened by one of their qualifier reps. The qualifier rep then hands the homeowner over to an energy advisor. The energy advisor consults with the homeowner on their goals and needs and why they want to go solar. Next, site information is collected about the roof and the home. Once the information is collected, the energy advisor works with the design team to design a system to meet those needs and wants. When that's complete, the energy advisor comes back to the homeowner and presents a quote and lending or financing options and purchase options. If the homeowner wants to move forward, they then sign some paperwork to get started. Building permits and approvals are pulled, and then a local contractor partner of EnergyPal installs the system. Please note that throughout the entire process, the energy advisor acts as the project manager to push things along and act as the communication liaison. So after digging further and grilling EnergyPal for more details, I like that the entire process is done online and by phone. So there are no high pressure sales visits to the home and the homeowner doesn't need to take any pictures or gather any measurements. The site information is actually precisely measured by LiDAR technology and other methods so that the design team knows exactly what they're working with. EnergyPal is also brand agnostic. They're partners with a lot of major brands in the solar world, but they don't push any specific brands or technologies more than any other. In fact, the energy advisor gets paid the same no matter what brand, technology, or financing is used. I also like that the local installation partners that EnergyPal uses are long-term partners and not just a low bidder or a random crew. And finally, I like that if the homeowner chooses a financing or leasing option, there's a written production guarantee right there in their contract. Well, that all sounds amazing, but how true is all of this? Well, I spent several days digging up everything I could find on the internet, looking for dirty laundry. I looked through numerous review sites and forums and social media. And I found very positive reviews overall. There were a few issues here and there, which every company is going to have. And EnergyPal even told me on the phone that they had a couple of ups upset customers and bad projects, and they took ownership of that. But the majority of the genuine reviews that I found were very positive. I also found some job openings for what appeared to be sales rep positions with EnergyPal. And I will admit that I was not overly impressed with the qualifications for the job. Can you really call someone without extensive solar experience an energy advisor? So I called them out on it and did some more digging. Turns out that the qualifier reps that you first talk to when you call in are not extensively trained and are just normal call center folks that are just making sure you're serious about buying. But the energy advisors are given a two week deep dive training course after being hired. And then they're given a three month apprenticeship where their education continues on the job with more training, constructive feedback, and comprehensive tests to make sure they're understanding the material before they can advise customers. But even then, they're still given ongoing training as new products, technologies, changes in rebates and incentives, and lending options come up. 
So I'm not ready to call them experts necessarily, but they are well trained and the design team is the one doing the heavy lifting anyway. And the last head scratcher that I found was that there's apparently another Energy Pal company in Canada, and the two are being confused online. So they really need to clean that up so people like me that like to do a lot of research before buying don't get a bad impression. In conclusion, Energy Pal seems to be trying to do solar the right way. I can tell that they aren't a very large company yet, but they've been around a while and have that stability and reputation. I can't validate their claim to the largest solar originator in North America, and I don't have personal experience using their service, nor am I even interested in having a grid-tied solar panel system myself. But I took a chance getting to know a company that might benefit some of you out there, and I'm glad I did. I didn't find any buried skeletons or red flags, so I'd encourage anyone that's potentially interested in getting a grid-tied solar panel system to give EnergyPal a call. You can find an affiliate link in the video description below. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please leave a thumbs up and a comment below.